700 of them are here to cover the launch. In addition, approximately 600,000 spectators line the coastal area near the Kennedy Space Center. Arriving by every mode of transportation, they have come from every state in the Union and many foreign countries. The promise of a rebirth in America's manned space program and the dawn of a new era in space transportation awaits. 14, 13, T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We've gone for main engine start. shuttle on its precise heading toward an imaginary target in space. Roll program complete. Roger, roll complete. The shuttle is now 40 seconds into flight. Roger, Columbia, on a nice ride. You're lofting a little bit. Uh, you'll probably be slightly high at staging. Negative seats. Columbia, your negative seat. Should anything go wrong, the shuttle is now too high for the astronauts to use their ejection seats. Roger, Columbia, go for, go for SRB step. The SRB set flight. Roger on a set. 103 converge flight. Yeah. Capcom, let's tell them all the calls are going to be a tad early because of the hot first stage. Columbia, you're looking a little hot. All your calls will be a little early. Okay. Damn, that looks good here. Stand by, press to Miko. Columbia, stand by, press to Miko. Mark it. Mark. Press for Miko. Roger, press for Miko. The shuttle can now continue toward Miko. Main engine cutoff. They like the VAP, Eagle. Ecom. Let's go, flight. Capcom, VAPs go. Stand by, negative return. Columbia, stand by for negative return. Mark it. Mark. Negative return. And your VAP is good. Uh, uh, standing. Sure is. We can confirm it. Oh, and single engine rotor flight. And Columbia, your single engine rotor. Columbia can land safely at the Naval Air Station in Rota, Spain, even if two of the three main engines should fail. Right now, the engines are generating over 42 million horsepower. Main engine cutoff. Columbia is now in space, traveling over 18,000 miles per hour. Okay, we got set. Roger, we confirm the set, Columbia. The external tank has just been jettisoned and is now falling away from the shuttle back toward Earth. 
the tank will break up as planned over the Indian Ocean when it comes into contact with the atmosphere. Shortly by firing the OMS, orbital maneuvering system engines, Columbia will achieve orbit. Then one of the most important tests of the mission will be attempted, opening the payload bay doors. The doors must be opened before the end of the sixth orbit to expose the space radiator cooling system. If the radiators cannot be exposed, heat collected from the onboard electronics cannot be released and the astronauts will have to return home. The Ohm's burns are successful. Columbia is now in orbit, circling the Earth at an altitude of approximately 150 miles. The payload bay doors will now be opened. Okay, the port door is coming open now. Roger, copy. Well, you're missing one fantastic sight. Boy, that is really beautiful out there. Uh, we appreciate those updates. Both doors have been opened. The radiators can be deployed to begin dissipating the heat. The doors are all opened up and uh, hunky dory. Glad to deploy it right on time. And the radiators look good. Okay, we uh we want to show you our own spots here. We